Oh, yeah. Today, bro, what we're going to do is we're going to break down the top ten. Ah, oh, yeah. Tag characters in the game. Oh, can I get some? Oh, yeah. How is everyone doing? It is Panther Vision, and welcome back to the channel, you guys. Now, I know, I know, there's so many tech characters in this game, guys. It can be a little overwhelming, but have no fear, guys. I made a list, I checked it twice, and I'm gonna make sure I bring you guys the top 10 best tech characters in the game, so you guys don't have to worry. Now, there are some rules for this list, guys. We're not gonna put Ultron on this list. We're not gonna put Minerva and no legendaries. Now, before we do that, guys, if you guys like these videos and wanna be part of the Panther Pack, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, guys, and you guys won't miss a single one of these videos I put out for you guys. So, without further ado, guys, let's jump to the video. Number 10. Calling the shots all the way into number 10, we have Mercenary Lieutenant. Now, if you guys don't know anything about Mercenary Lieutenant, he's a pretty good minion. I would say that he's probably the best minion in the game. Other than that, he has a really strong kit, and I'll break it down for you guys quickly. On his special, it gives offense up and speed up. On his basic, he's handing out energy, and his passive has a chance to heal. Now, because of that passive, he's pretty good in the raids. If you guys lose someone on your main tech team, you guys can sub him in, and he'll do pretty well. He's also very important for the payday event that always comes around, and I know you guys like your gold, so power up your Merc Lieutenant if you guys have not done so. Now, he's not the highest priority, but he's one of those good characters that will come in the handy down the road. Let's jump to number nine, guys. Now, it's time for number nine. Coming in at number nine, we have Ant-Man. Now, I know Ant-Man is one of those underrated characters. I personally have not powered up my Ant-Man completely, but he's still really good. He has that ability block on his special. He has that chance to slow down the entire team, and his basic is stealing positive effects, and he just blends really well with Wasp. I really like Ant-Man. He comes in handy, and especially on war offense. I use him more often than not because of that ability block, and, and just crippling a team right away is so powerful, especially with Wasp on his side. And Ant-Man is an easy character to farm. You'll find him in a Blitz store, and he does pretty well in a lot of game modes. Now, he's not the best tech character, but he's a good early on character, and he's a great character to have to build up your roster, guys. Let's jump into number eight. Now it's time for number eight. In her way into number eight, we have Wasp. I really like Wasp as a standalone character. Her kit is pretty straightforward. I'll break it down for you guys real quickly. On her ultimate, she has that AOE that counters characters like Hand Sentry and Loki. Her special has that stun, which always comes in handy. And she's a hard character to hit. She's so annoying. So I really like Wasp. She's not too crazy, but she's still pretty special. So let's jump into number seven. It's number seven. Locking in his spot at locked. number seven, we have Korath. Now that Ultimus got his buff, Korath got a buff as well, guys. He's gonna be popping up on a lot of Kree teams now, and he's a pretty good character, so he deserves it. He has a lot of options on turn one. Now, assuming that no one is taunting on the opposing team, he's able to get a heal block off, and he has a chance to get an ability block on his special. He's gonna force taunt anyone on the opposing team, and his basic is always gonna slow down another character, and he has a lot of speed. He's a really fast character. He's almost always going on turn one, so power up your core app if you guys need an extra character for that Kree team he's gonna do very well let's jump into number six guys number six 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 flying to the rescue and number six is rescue herself i really like this character i've been looking at her kit over and over again and it looks really good now she is supposed to be a war character but i've been theory crafting a few things with this character now she has regeneration on her special and she clears negative effects and i realized that the negative effects is everyone it's not just power armor allies so she could do a lot of positive things in the raids i have not yet tested her but one of these days i might test my rescue with my falcon and see how well she does in the raids guys it's a good idea i like rescue and i like that power armor team they're still pretty meta now the only way you're going to 
get rescued is if you're farming those blitz orbs which is a pain in the neck it's no fair i wish there was another way to get this character guys but she's still pretty good if you guys get your rescue power her up because she's gonna be so strong on that power armor team let's jump to number five number five Coming in at number five, we have Scientist Supreme. Scientist <laughs> Supreme is coming up in the meta. Thank God I like this character. Yes! I'm sure everyone knows about Scientist Supreme and that AIM team. They're so good. They take on any negative effects. They're going to take out your Brotherhood team. They're going to take out your Supernatural team. They're just really good. And Scientist Supreme is definitely coming up in the meta, especially in Ultimate 7. I really like using this character. Now her kit is very well as well. Her special, which has amazing cooldown. She's going to flip negative effects into positive effects. On her ultimate, it's a big F you that everyone's gonna apply negative effects to everybody. And on her basic, she's gonna apply two negative effects, but she's also gonna revive people with her passive. So I like Scientist Supreme. She's actually a really good character. I recommend you guys get your Scientist Supreme as soon as possible. Scientist Supreme is awesome. Let's jump into number four. Number four. And then at number four, we have Agent Coulson. I don't think I. So that's what it does. Now, first, before we talk about Agent Coulson, I watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm probably one of the four people that actually know about this show, but I really like Agent Coulson. He's a great character, especially on War Defense. That's where you're going to find him, and he does so many things. So on turn one, he's going to apply defense down to the person with the most attack. He's going to send two S.H.I.E.L.D. allies to attack that enemy, and it's pretty much going to kill you turn one, guys. He's, you're going to be done. Now, his special does a lot of things. It's an AoE. It's going to attack everyone. It's going to remove all positive effects. It's also going to apply slow to all the tech allies. It also takes all the positive effects from the primary target and puts it on non-shield allies. And it also flips all the positive effects on that character into negative effect. On his basic, he chains up to three enemies and he changes speed bar. Agent Coulson, guys, he's a great character. He's gonna be really hard to farm nowadays. Now, the only way to farm Coulson is through the Milestone Orb, guys, so it's gonna be a tough farm, but if you guys do get your Coulson, power him up and put him on your war defense, and it'll give you guys a lot of results. Let's go into number three. Number three. Coming in at number three is the rodent himself carrying the biggest gun he can find, Rocket Raccoon. Oh. Yeah. Now, I really like Rocket Raccoon. He was designed for one thing, to do a lot of damage. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. With his passive, he gives himself offense up, and on his ultimate, he's just doing a big AoE. It does lots and lots of damage. On his special, he's gonna do a lot of damage too to a single target. And if you guys have a powered up Rocket Raccoon, you know his basic also does a lot of damage as well. So I like Rocket Raccoon. Now, if you take your Rocket Raccoon and you sandwich him between a Thanos and a Star Lord, he's gonna do his ultimate over and over and over again. And you wanna why? Because it has low cooldown. So I recommend you guys get your rocket. The only way you're gonna farm him is through through the raid store but he's not a bad farm and once you guys get him it really will pay off let's jump into number two number two phasing his way into number two is vision now you guys all know that vision is probably one of my favorite characters he's probably one of the better characters in the game and that's because he has a really good passive on his passive he's giving defense up on spawn to all tech allies which is really good it gives you an advantage at the beginning of the game he also is a very annoying character to hit because he has a dodge chance on his ultimate he's clearing positive effects from all the enemies and his special he's gonna ability block it's so good now his basic is good as well his basic is going to apply offense down which is really good in the raids it's really good in the arena it's really good in everything guys i recommend you guys get your vision now he's a really hard character to get to he's on that mystic node that's so hard to beat but after a while guys you guys will get there you'll get your vision and he'll pay off very well and he synergizes with so many teams i really like vision yes it's number one and then at number one is Captain America. I'm just kidding, guys. It's Falcon, guys. See what I did there? Captain America, Falcon. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, my jokes suck, guys. I'm sorry. 
Falcon is such a good character. I love what he does on his special. It's the best thing in the world. Now, before we jump into that, Falcon was designed for that power armor team. He's supposed to be ran with Rescue, Vision, Iron Man, and of course, War Machine, but Falcon overall is really good. His special does a lot of things. It's gonna give the entire team speed bar, plus if the other team has positive effects, more speed bar. On his ultimate, he's gonna do a lot of damage with his AOE. If the other team has positive effects, guess what? More damage. And he has a block chance on his passive. Broken character, one of the best characters right now in the game now. He's up and coming in ultimate seven. If you guys get your Falcon, he's not a hard character to get. He's an easy farm and once you get him, you'll have him and he'll pay off so much. So that's the end of the list guys. Quick reminder guys, I'm doing something on the channel called Fan Fridays. If you guys wanna be a part of that, all you have to do is join my Discord. And if you guys find any footage or shenanigans, then send it to me, I'll make a video of it showcasing everything that you guys can find. So really, the sky is the limit for this one, guys. You guys are the creator. But now that we got that out of the way, guys, I really hope you guys like this video. And until next time, guys, Panther Vision out.